Hi everyone, thank you for joining me on this episode and I'm hoping you all are doing great. So have you all noticed how the Windsors and the British media are blaming everyone, literally everyone, for all the conspiracy theories, uh, for the way that Kensington Palace was being viewed by the world, except the royal family themselves? They just can't seem to see that all these things came from Kensington Palace lying in the first place, releasing fake videos and photos to the public. And then when Kate announces her cancer diagnosis is when they try to get some sympathy using that cancer diagnosis. How pathetic is this? And I've noticed that the people who, have, who are being dragged the most into this mess is obviously Prince Harry and Duchess Meghan. Two people who live 5,000 miles away from the UK are still being blamed for what is happening to Kate and the family. Honestly, I just can't with these people anymore. Whereas all that the Sussexes have done is wish them the best. They have wished Kate and her family the best during this period when she is recovering. They said that they hope she recovers in private. That was a very kind message from Harry and Meghan considering that these same people, that is William and Kate, are the same ones who participated in feeding uh, false stories about Harry and Meghan to the press. And obviously the UK media also produced like a million articles dragging the Duke and Duchess of Sussex for that kind statement. I've noticed that the Sussexes can never win either way. Whether they say something or don't say anything, they'll still be blamed for something. And just take a look at how the Express interpreted Harry and Meghan's statement saying that Prince Harry regretful after Kate's cancer announcement as Meghan feels guilty. Prince Harry regretful for what once again? Telling the truth in his memoir? Exposing these royals as they are in his memoir and in the Harry and Meghan documentary, defending his wife and his children, protecting them from these vile people. I don't think Prince Harry regrets any of that. Also saying that Meghan feels guilty. Guilty about what? Guilty about what exactly? Because Meghan hasn't done anything. I've seen these people trying to pin so much, uh, trying to pin the racism story on Meghan so much, saying that she is the one who exposed Kate as a racist, but Meghan did not. Remember that the person who exposed these people as racist was Piers Morgan. He did that before any other person said it. Honestly, I believe it would do these people good to remember that Harry and Meghan are not responsible for the House of Windsor's current dilapidated state. And they certainly have nothing to feel guilty about. All they did was stand up for themselves and the support that Kate has received, especially from the royal family, shows that they could have done much more in support of Harry and Meghan, and in particular Meghan against the nasty press onslaught. They just chose not to do that, and Harry and Meghan had every right to say something about it. Yet, there's also this A.N. Wilson article on the Daily Mail trying to blame Meghan and Harry for whatever is happening to Kate. For example, one line reads, After all, it seems to me that a great many of the problems facing the royal family at the moment can, can be laid at his and Meghan's door. That is referring to Prince Harry and Meghan. I mean, how is that even possible? I don't recall Harry and Meghan going to Windsor are going to Windsor and editing that fake Mother's Day photo. I don't remember them issuing fake statements to the public. So how is everything that is happening to the Windsors right now being blamed on the Sussexes? They live so far away for, Christ, for Christ's sake. Yet these people will always find something to blame them about. Also, a. N. Wilson was writing saying that 
Their foolish decisions to go public with their seething resentments against the House of Windsor has done far more damage to the royal image than any supposed intrusions into their privacy by the press, let alone the delusional fantasies of social media trolls. Well, I don't agree with that. Have they forgotten the damage that Prince Andrew has done to that family? Have they forgotten all these alleged... Um, affairs of Prince William? Have they forgotten that King Charles married his mistress? How is that now being forgotten and the Sussexes being blamed for just telling the story? They know very well that uh, this smear campaign against Harry and Meghan was never going to stop. So the Sussexes just had to tell their story one way or the other, but then these people are making it look like Harry and Meghan telling their story was a wrong thing. Well, I don't agree with that one minute. I believe this A.N. Wilson, uh, Wilson article was so vile and it's just so baseless because you can't be blaming people who live so far away for the problems that the Windsors created for themselves. Also, this behavior of blaming the victim all the time that is, blaming Harry and Meghan who are the victims in instead of questioning the abuser for why they did this to them is just very bad. Honestly, the kind of things that the British media ca keep coming up with in order to blame the Sussexes is just getting so much absurd. Remember that when King Charles was diagnosed with cancer, they blamed Harry and Meghan for it. They may even blame them for Kate's cancer. I believe these people can even blame Harry and Meghan for the volcanic eruption in Iceland. That is how far they can get. So in this A.N. Wilson article, in the other part he was blaming them for what is happening to Kate and then in another part he was um, saying what all Harry and Meghan haters want. For someone to force a grown man and his family back to the UK and their kids to go to the same school as the other kids of Kate and William. That is all that they want so that they can get access to their kids. So let me read you out this part saying that let's also not forget Donald Trump's uh, veiled threat if he is re-elected to the White House this November that he might expel Harry from the United States for allegedly giving misleading accounts of his previous drug use in his visa application. If he lied, they'll have to take appropriate action, the ex-president said. First off, I hope that Donald Trump never gets to win that election. But again, if he does, then I believe uh, the Sussexes have plenty of other places to live in. I'm sure they can live in Canada, they can live in Toronto, they can live in so many other places, including Africa. They don't have to ne necessarily move back to the UK. Because if these people haven't seen the studies, the UK is like the worst country to live in right now. So why would the Sussexes want to go back to that country, the same place that constantly abuses them, the same place which keeps saying how they don't like them, but then go ahead to make moves suggesting that they are forcing them back into that country. Anyway, in another part he was saying how um, were this frankly hilarious development to take place, Megan would pres presumably be asked to give up her California lifestyle to say nothing of her hotly anticipated new luxury jam enterprise and bring Archie and Lilibet to live in Windsor Park, at Windsor Great Park and perhaps go to school with George, Charlotte and Louis. If you are writing the script of the Royal Soap Opera, you could not hope for a more, a more delicious twist in the plot. Well, dream more A.N. Wilson because this is something that is never going to happen. Harry and Meghan are not going to uh, lay their children on a silver platter just for you to exploit them. Also saying that Meghan would have to give up her California lifestyle. It hurts them so much to see Meghan making moves, doing what she loves the most. It seems like it's something that is paining them so much. 
These royalists obviously are not used to a working, okay, a woman of the royal family being so hardworking, doing her own things. They are used to people like Kate and Camilla, people who are so lazy, they can't even go to three engagements in a week before going on a holiday for a month. They're used to such people, so when they see a hardworking woman like Megan, they feel threatened. So clearly, they don't want Meghan having the lifestyle that she does. They don't want Prince Harry being happy with his wife and his children. They want Archie and Lilibet under the sight and control, under their sight and control. And they want the Sussexes back in that country. That is the clear message that these people are sending them. But that is not going to happen. And again, blaming them for everything that happens under the sun is so, so pathetic. Well, I don't know about you, just kindly leave your comments down below on what you think about this. And I'll see you all on the next podcast. Have a wonderful and amazing time. Goodbye.